a picture customer success team. And I also have through my colleague who's going to be there to help me uh, with the session here. And in this session, we'll be talking about voiceovers. We've done this session before. So this is going to be like a recap of what we've covered before. Okay, I got a thumbs up. I see that you can see my screen. All right, so let's start off. Firstly, why do we use a voiceover? So if, if you have a video with just, you know, visuals and text on it, or just visuals and a background music to it, not sure how far this is interactive. Now, just to give you an example, if this is a session where you just have to sit and read, you know, what's there on the screen, rather than me talking to you, or, you know, having a voice to your video, it would become really boring. So voiceover can make your video firstly, you know, give life to it. And second, it could make it so much more interactive than just having music or text to it. Again, these, these are going to be used in different ways. There are videos that are made with just music, videos with just voiceovers. So it's completely up to uh, what sort of topic you use. Okay. Now coming to Pictree, uh, you have three different ways of applying your voiceover. And the three difference, first I'll tell you what these are, and then we can go into the details of it. The first one is AI voiceover. The second one is recording your voiceover on Pictree. The third one is uploading a voiceover that is recorded on another device or, you know, any other application, and then you bring it on to Pictree. These are the main three ways or the major ways. So let's get uh, started. The first one is going to be AI voiceover or the voiceovers that are provided to you by uh, Pictree. Now, if, if you ask me, why would you use an AI voiceover? I would say this is the easiest, the simplest way of applying a voiceover to your video. All you need to do is select a voiceover, apply it, and your voiceover is, I mean, the voiceover will read out your script. Now, you also have filters here on Pictree. You can filter it by the different accents. So you can go to regions and filter it this way. You can also filter it by the gender right here. Now, before you apply a voiceover to your video, you can go and just click on the preview here. Welcome to Pictory. It Listen to it. That video increases conversion rates by 80%. And to once you listen to it, if you're happy with it, if you feel this is going to be suitable for your video, just go ahead and apply it. Once your voiceover is applied, I'll just preview it for you here as well. Many people know that copywriting is a crucial aspect of marketing, but how many of those same people actually know the ins and outs? That's how uh, you apply an AI voiceover to your video. Okay, now the preview that I played is just for this particular scene so that we don't have to go through the entire preview uh, because it's a long video. Now, a few things to note here. Firstly, when you're using an AI voiceover uh, from Pictree, the AI voiceover only is suitable or it only works with English language, which means if you have a script in another language, then you cannot use the AI voiceover. That's the first thing. Second is uh, the AI voiceover can be used or, you know, you can go ahead and add a pause when you're using an AI voiceover. The same thing you cannot do when you're uploading a voiceover unless you do it in your original audio. So I'll just show you how this works. If you see the scene duration here, it shows as 8.2. This is how long the AI takes to read the content or the text that is there on the scene. You cannot reduce this to, you know, anything less than 8.2 because then it wouldn't really, uh, you know, you, you can't really have, basically you won't understand what the AI is reading. But if you want to add a pause, which means it says actually know the ins and outs, and then you want a pause added there for uh, say a second or two, you can just go to scene duration and have the pause added here. You can just change it and add the pause here. So you can just go put 10 here. Just an example, okay? 
and then you can go ahead and preview it again. This is if you want to have a pause after each scene, you can go ahead and change the scene duration to a number or to something more than what it is when the AI has applied. Okay, that's the first thing. Now, uh, if while you preview the video, if you feel like when you preview the entire video, if you feel the pace is fast or if you uh, feel the pace is slow, it's not what you, um, you know, what you're looking for, you can just go into the speed here and then change the pace here as well. You can just go uh, move the slider, uh, the speed will get saved. You see the saving changes here and then this will be applied to your video. You just have to go ahead and preview it accordingly. That's about your AI voiceovers. Coming to record voiceover, which is the second one. You can record your voiceover just by clicking on add voiceover to the bottom here. Now, when you click on uh, record voice, just a minute. Yeah, when you click on um, add voiceover or record voiceover, you will see this pop up. On this pop up, you will see this, you know, red and black icon. The minute you click on this, it will start recording whatever you are speaking. Okay. Now, once you do this, so I'll just uh, give you an example here. I'm going to be taking off the AI voiceover because that was what we tried the first. And also, another thing is once you use the voiceover, if you are really happy with it, you want to continue using the same thing then you can always favorite uh, the voiceover that you like and you will find it under the favorites here. You will also find the most recently used voiceover under reset. Coming back to record voiceover, the minute you click on it, I'm just going to record a love. So this, this pop-up that you just saw regarding the, uh, you know, allowing of your microphone, you need to enable that only then will this recording work for you. So let me just redo it. Many people know that copywriting is a crucial aspect of marketing, but how many of those same people actually know the ins and outs? This is for one of my scenes, scene one. If you want to see where this is getting saved, you will see it under my uploads here. Okay, you will see this, uh, it should show up here. You see, this is the uh, voiceover that you just recorded. Now, two things here. One. If you're recording it just for the scene, just go ahead and click on current scene. However, if you're gonna, like if you have a script in your hand and you're gonna read the entire script and record it, you can just click on record, read the entire script, and then just go ahead and hit on entire video. This way, the AI on uh, Pictree will go ahead and apply it to the entire video. This is one way of applying it to the entire video, okay? so. For now, I'll just apply it to the current scene because we are looking at record scene by scene. And I'll just preview it for you. Many people know that copywriting is a crucial aspect of marketing. But how many of those same people actually know the ins and outs? Okay, so that was uh, a voiceover recorded for a single scene. Again, just like your AI voiceover, you can go ahead and change the scene duration here. Like I mentioned, this is in case you want to add a pause to your uh, scene after your, you know, after the script is read, if you want to add a pause, you can go ahead and increase the scene duration. Even here, you cannot decrease the scene duration. This is about recording your voiceover on the scene by scene basis. And this is mostly used or it's easier to use if your uh, video is not really long. If it is long, then you might as well read the entire script and then let AI do the work for you. Okay. Now coming to upload voiceover and let AI auto sync the voiceover for you. This is one feature like, you know, the rockstar feature on Pictree. So what, what you actually need to do is you have your script, you have your, you have it on your storyboard. You have a voiceover. It could be recorded anywhere on any device and you just bring it onto Pictree. How do you do that? You just go ahead, either drag and drop, or you can go ahead, select it this way and select it from your list here. Okay. Now you can either have an MP3 or you can have a WAV format. No other format, formats are accepted for now. And this is given right here. I'm not sure if you can read it, but 
it's given to the bottom of this pop-up right here. So this is the audio that I have uh, for this video. Just below entire video, you will see this thing which says auto sync the voiceover, which means the minute you click on entire video, the AI on Pictree will go ahead, auto sync your voiceover with your video. There's nothing you are doing. You're just uploading the voiceover. You're uploading your script. The AI will go ahead, auto sync it and give you the video. Now, once the this is auto sync, if you feel the auto sync could be better or you want to adjust it a little here and there, you absolutely can do it on the next step. Now, this again is majorly used. Um, one, if your video is really long. Second, if your video is not in English, if it's, you know, any other language. Many people. Okay. If it's in another language, then you will have to upload your voiceover or you can also record it on a scene by scene basis. So let me just know that video. copywriting is a crucial aspect of marketing, but how many of those same people actually know the ins and outs? Many, many beginners in the world of copywriting don't know where to start as they fear that their lack of experience means a lack of expertise. So this is how the auto sync works. It's about five and a half minute long video. So I'm not going to be playing the entire thing, but once you are on the screen, once the auto sync is done, to the bottom of the screen, you will see looks good and adjust. So if you feel at some place, the sync is slightly off or it is not as per your liking, all you need to do is go ahead and click on adjust here. You will come onto the screen. Now on the screen, you can go ahead and move. I'll just show you how this is done. If the auto sync is not as per what you're looking for. Yes. So if you see, this is scene two that I've selected, you see two green bars on either side uh, of scene two. And you will also see the wave, you know, the sound wave on the bottom. The empty spaces, like you know, are uh, silences or where there's no speech. So if you want to just move this, there is more silence or there's more, basically there's a pause between scene one and scene two and the same thing with scene two and scene three there's a pause here you can go ahead and adjust this accordingly okay but you wouldn't really have to do this a lot because the auto sync is pretty you know accurate so you wouldn't really have to do this but in case you do then you can go about by doing this now while you're doing this you might wonder how would i know you know if the voiceover is accurate all you need to do is click on this play icon to the bottom here when you click on it Many beginners in the world of copywriting don't know where to start as they fear that their lack of experience means a lack of expertise. That's how you listen to it. And then if it is not accurate, move the green bars on the left and right. Once this is done, you just have to go ahead and click on save and then click on close. Your video is, you know, the auto sync is done and your video is ready. Now on you know, while you were using the AI voiceover or while you were recording your voiceover, you could go ahead and change the scene duration, which means you could increase the scene duration. However, when you use your uploaded voiceover and let uh, AI auto sync, you cannot change the scene duration because, uh, you know, if just for example, if this was uh, editable or if you could change this, that would disturb the entire sync that was done by AI. So hence this is grayed out and you don't see the, you know, the option to change the scene duration. Okay. So once all this is done, uh, you can go ahead and generate your video. Now, a few things to keep in mind. Uh, firstly is whenever you are uh, using a voiceover on your video, try and apply your voiceover only towards the end of the video. Try not to make any edits after your voiceover is applied because it could uh, disturb the sync between the voiceover and your script. That's one major thing. Uh, and the second thing is uh, the entire video. So the auto sync feature is available only on the premium plan. So you could go through the feature chart. It is uh, mentioned there that the auto sync feature is available only on the premium plan. If you are on the starter plan and you still want to use your own uh, voiceover, you can just go ahead and do a scene by scene voiceover. That's the second thing. 
then coming to the you know if, if you feel that your voiceover is not audible enough you can just go ahead and change or reduce the background music uh, volume if you go into background music click on audio settings you can just go ahead and reduce or increase it uh, as per your liking by default when a voiceover is applied to your video it will drop down to 10 percent you can then uh, make changes accordingly so this pretty much covers you know everything about uh, the voiceovers on victory if you have any questions i'm open to questions i'll just stop sharing my screen and i'll come back to the main screen here yes you can go ahead with your questions does victory support upload a voiceover and then ai themes are built based on voiceover converted script so anil if i understand this right you're referring to uh, uploading a voiceover and then having visuals attached to it and having a script attached to it you could try you know the transcript which is uh, edit videos using text the third box on the victory home page you can try that uh, you now have access to upload mp3 there and then you can create a video however this does not pick visuals this only will transcribe the audio and then uh, you will have to upload your own visuals or you can use the visuals that are there in the victory library uh, does that answer the question sunil okay thank you any other questions you can just type it in the q a session there all right thank you so much for taking time out and joining this session uh, thank you for all your comments. Please uh, keep your feedback coming. And any suggestions, please, uh, please feel free to uh, send it to us on the email. And uh, we will meet you on the next session, hopefully in two weeks. Uh, all of you all have uh, a great holiday time. And 